Hi guys, Steph here. Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I just thought I'd give you a minute just to look at the pen so that you could drool, put your eyeballs back. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen. Okay, you'll notice the logo to the top, so most of you will know what pen it is. What we've got for you here is a vintage Mont Blanc 144 masterpiece now the beautiful thing about this pen let's bring it closer look at that okay look at that absolutely gorgeous it's actually the green striated or striped fountain pen as we said it's the Mont Blanc I believe this pen, the 144, I know they made them in standard classic black. I believe the same pattern came in a grey colour as well. But this one, as you can see, again, repeating myself, comes in this beautiful green striped or striated pattern. It's a vintage fountain pen, so why, why, why? do not or why don't Mont Blanc make pens like they used to <laughs> instead of the precious resin the blacks and well the recent one the the Beatles found uh, Mont Blanc fountain pen don't get me wrong love the Beatles but the pen itself I'm afraid is not for me incidentally uh, well sorry Beatles fans and Mont Blanc fans but uh, Mont Blanc pens, well, I can love them or leave them, although I've actually got a nice Mont Blanc 149 myself. Um, they're not, you know, as I say, I can love them or I can leave them. So they're not my best favourite pens, but this one is an absolute beauty of a pen. So let's tell you a little bit about it. As I say... It's a Mont Blanc 144 uh, masterpiece, uh, sorry, not Meister Stuck, a masterpiece. It's dated from the 1950s, maybe slightly earlier. As we said, comes in this lovely um, green stripe pattern. As we'll show in a moment, this one is a piston filler. Let's take you up to the, to the cap bands there. You can see it's got the standard large one to, uh, to the middle and the two narrow ones to each side. And if I turn it sort of slowly, you will see it says Masterpiece on the middle band. Let's take you up to the clip. Very recognisable, very standard Mont Blanc clip there with the band to the top. There's no serial number on this particular model. And then if we take you up to the very top, very recognisable, the Mont Blanc snowflake symbol to the very top. And the thing that you'll notice with this one, the lovely thing about the Mont Blanc or the vintage ones, is they're not actually, well, they're not actually pearl white. As you can see, this one is a sort of a creamy, creamy colour, which again, for me, much more attractive gorgeous gorgeous pen now as we said around the band it has masterpiece which incidentally i'm not 100 percent sure someone's told me that that may be for well it's an export model again i'm not 100 percent sure let's take you to the only sort of markings that we've got on the pen and they're actually on the piston knob to the bottom there the first one, nice and simple, you can see, says 144, which indicates the model. 
Now if we turn it to the other side, what you'll see there, it has three letters, K, F and F. Now the K, again, I'm not a Mont Blanc uh, professional maestro or anything like that. The K may stand for um, being this being a short version of the pen. It may also indicate that it's a kugel nib. Now, for you people that don't know, a kugel nib is where the point is round. It's you know basically designed for people that are just beginning to use a fountain pen. Um, it's taken from the German word kugel schreiber, which basically means ballpoint pen. So that's what a kugel nib is. So whether it's a kugel nib, I do not know. Whether it indicates it's the short version, um, again, I'm not 100% sure. The F and the F, I would say one of them would stand for, well, a fine nib. And I believe, I don't know, but I'm, I'm having a guess that this, the well, it's indicating that it's got a flexi fine nib nib which we'll show you in a moment so if anybody's got a definitive answer on them particular markings leave us a comment we'd all like to know absolutely gorgeous pen i wish it was mine unfortunately it's not um a gentleman sean actually sent it to me because he actually dropped it it was his grandfather's he dropped it there was a chip out of the bottom here which I filled in, polished, etc. So we've got rid of the, the unsightly chip. But apart from that, absolutely stunning pen. Incidentally, the size from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 130 millimeters capped around the barrel, it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter. Let's unscrew the cap for you. Give you the customary twirls. Let's give you a couple of extra twirls because it is an absolutely stunning pen. I've also given it a nice polish as well. So it's looking absolutely beautiful. I wish the pen was mine. Let's take you up to the section. You'll notice the section also has this sort of green and black stripiness to it and then if we show you the nib look at that beauty there <coughs> you'll notice how it's got quite wide shoulders in fact it's got wider shoulders than well an american footballer i would say absolutely gorgeous and it's a two-tone nib as well give you a different angle there absolutely beautiful nib uh, keep it nice and still it says 4810 and then underneath the Mont Blanc symbol 14 carat to the bottom Mont Blanc and then basically right at the bottom 585 again this palladium silver and the gold to the top there absolutely beautiful sideways view for you and then let's show you the feed underneath there. Again, you'll notice for you people that know your Mont Blanc pens, this is what they term as the, the flat feed as opposed to the sort of more modern feeds. Again, beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful pen. As we said, it may be the short version. Either way, it's nice and comfortable to hold and I've got quite large hands. Incidentally, it's quite a nice weighty fountain pen as well. Maybe that's something to do with a piston inside the pen. But as we said earlier, it's a piston feed, which means on this particular model, a little bit unusual in that what you actually do is turn it so far and then you can actually feel a little bit resistance and at that point if you turn it further that's when you can actually feel the piston moving in and out 
But if we turn it all the way back again, and it, you can actually sort of feel maybe the piston going inside, and then the resistance sort of stops. There we go, just there. And then that just screws back nice and simply. So a piston filler. I can't get over how beautiful the pen actually is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I may be wrong, I don't know, but they may actually have brought out a up-to-date version of this particular pen. Um, maybe, I do not know. I mean, if someone can tell me that, I don't know. But what I don't understand is why Mont Blanc do not revert back to these celluloid pens and remake these beautiful patterns, these beautiful colours, these beautiful pens. Mont Blanc, if you're listening, let's make some more of these pens. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do, uh, because I've actually flushed the pen out with water numerous times it's ready to go back to Sean um, so rather than sort of fill it with ink what I'm going to do is just simply dip the pen let me just get some tissue I'm just going to simply dip it and let's see how the pen how the pen writes right what I've done is dipped it a bit too far there so we don't want it on our fingers right let's see how the pen writes so, what we have a Mont Blanc, as we said, this is the 144. It's what they term the master masterpiece, which I believe again don't you know don't quote me someone's told me that that means that it was made for the export market the date of the pen nice and simple it's vintage around about circa 1950s does it have a flex nib does one of the F's on the end of the pen indicate that it has a flexi nib? I'd say the answer is yes. In fact, we get a little bit of skipping there. Then that's just simply down to the fact that, let's dip it again. So, I always try this. <laughs> this technique here but never seems to work but there we go nice and simple does it have a flex nib yes it does so what we have is a Mont Blanc masterpiece from the 1950s with a flexi flexi nib how cool is that so let's just give the nib a little bit of white before we swill it out afterwards let's pop the cap back on and quite simply I don't know what else to actually say to you I think the pen itself says it all an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pen and Mont Blanc need to make these lovely colours these lovely patterns make them again Forget about the black precious resin. We want celluloid in lovely colours. <laughs> so, we're going to leave it at that. So, the pen is coming back to you, Sean. If you ever get fed up with this beautiful pen, please give me a call. I will gladly give it a beautiful new home. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've actually enjoyed having it in my hands for a short period don't forget like below subscribe below and if you feel like it why not support below as well but for now I'll just say 
Bye-bye for now.